Hello, this is Anton and I welcome you to the tutorial of my simple photo animator. So since the simple photo animator is made to super easily animate your photos, I want to show you how quick it is. So just let's start and animate our first picture in one minute. So what you have to do is after opening the After Effects project file, you have to import your picture. In this example we take this landscape we just drag it into our project folder. Then we can go and open the put source composition. We put our picture in here. Then we scale it until it fits the frame. And we are ready to set the background mask. We double click on set mask. We select the pen tool and we select the mask layer. Now we select the background. We simply do something like this. And now half the work is already done. Now we can open the animation composition and start our photo animator script. So we go to File, Scripts, and Simple Photo Animator Script. Now we have the Simple Photo Animator script right here. Actually, we can select a camera move, hit Create Animation, and we are done. Now we have created a simple push in animation. Uh, we can hit zero for a render preview. So you can see we have already created our first animation. Let me go ahead and explain you all the controls, all, although they are very straightforward and you know what they mean. Duration in seconds, so if you want to have a two second animation like we did in the first example, you type two seconds or you type 1.5 seconds so now the animation is going to be 1.5 seconds then you can have an ease in and ease out if you like so the animation starts slowly or ends slowly or both then you can choose a camera move here you have uh, several moves like simple push in right turn push in left turn push in or a vertigo effect or a, a loop that goes in a circle or a crane from low to high angle or a parallel dolly left to right. So you have all kinds of movements uh, which you can choose from, but you can also re uh, reverse them. So if you want to have a parallel dolly, uh, here it is from left to right, but you want to have it from right to left, you just reverse it and it goes from right to left. Here you can choose the intensity. So if you want to have a, a strong camera move uh, or a lesser effect with only a little camera movement. And finally you can choose uh, the focus. So maybe you want to shift the focus from the back to the front or the from the front to the back, back to the text layer and so on. Or you want to have uh, the focus only on the text layer, only on the front or only on the back. If you select none, everything will be in focus. And then you can have a back and forth loop. So let's try this. Uh, let's say we want to have a parallel dolly from left to right. And then we have a back and forth loop. We hit create. And it's created. Let's uh, make a render preview. Now we have a left to right, right to left uh, loopable um, video animation. So you can see at the edges uh, when it comes to the right, it, uh, it goes directly to the left and there's no ease in and ease out. That's why we have, because we haven't put the ease in and ease out. So if we do this, we put the ease in, ease out, hit create animation again. Now everything is smooth. I can see there's when it comes to the sides, it slows down and accelerates again. So basically, this is everything you need to know to create your first animations. Pretty simple, right? So let's just do it uh, another time with a different picture. So we import our picture, drag it in here in the project window. 
Then we double click on the put source composition. We can erase this one. Uh, and we drag our new picture in here. We scale it until it fits the frame. Then we go to the set mask composition. Here we still have our old mask. We can click on the mask and delete it. And now we once again make sure that the mask layer is selected. Otherwise we will, you will draw a shape layer which you don't want. So select this layer and mask the background. In this picture it would be something like this, right? That's the background basically. So we can go to our animation composition or double click on in here. So the animation is open. In this example I want to show you how the uh, loop animation looks like. This is actually the only uh, camera movement which is not loopable because it is already a loop. <laughs> so we, I chose two seconds and loop one. I hit create animation and I can hit uh, click down here in the t on the time slider, hit zero for render preview. So this animation is basically two movements at the same time. The camera pushes in and out at the same time it goes from left to right. Yeah. So this is basically how the simple photo animator works. Um, then we have some extra controls I want to show you. In here in the animation composition you have two layers. Your text layer, you can double click on here in here and put your own text or logo or even a plate if you cut out an object and put it in Photoshop uh, you cut out an object in Photoshop you can place it here or even if you have particles you put them here it's basically a layer which you can place anywhere in the depth of field and yeah have whatever you want probably a text or a logo so you of course can change uh, the text here or you can put anything else you want in this in this uh, your text composition. Uh, if you want to have it shown you just need to enable the vision with the eye here and then your text is right here. And then you have your controls. You need to click on that layer and up here beside the project window you have the effect controls. Click on there and then you have all the extra controls uh, that you have. So the first slider uh, defines the camera blur. So if you increase it you can see that the background is getting blurry. Which part of the picture is in focus and uh, is out of focus you can decide in the script as I've shown you. So you can say you want to have the uh, focus go from back to text layer you would create animation. Now you can see that uh, the focus is first in the back and as we move in time, the focus will go uh, to the text layer. So um, let's click on the control, your controls again and have a look at the second slider. So the second slider defines if you want to have the text in the back of the picture or if you want to have it in very near to the camera. can place it wherever you want. A little tip, if you want to have the focus at a specific point uh, in the picture and you don't have text, you can all still use this text layer to decide where the uh, focus should, shall be and you can say maybe you want to have it only on the text layer, the focus. So uh, in this example, the focus is only at uh, depth 2.7. So 8 means the, uh, the f is the forest from the camera, it's the back and 1 is the closest actually but you can even go uh, to minus 5 which is very close to the camera if you want to have the text very boldly in front and the whole background mostly blurry you can use that. 
then if you want you can say that um, the text should uh, not receive blur so right now it's a little blurry in the text you can see and if you don't want the text to receive blur you can uncheck this then we get uh, another slider the scale slider in this slider you can scale everything this comes handy for certain types of pictures let me show you uh, i'm going to show you what can happen if you have the mask at the very outside of the picture. So um, I'm just going to show you really quick. So I import the picture, scale it until it fits the frame, go to set mask, delete this mask, select the background, which is uh, basically this. Uh, this so okay and then we go to the animation composition and for some of the camera movements if you have the mask at the side you can um, sometimes uh, it can sometimes ha happen that the picture that the edge of the picture comes into frame right here you can see there's a small black uh, line so the picture ends here. To avoid this, you simply go to your controls and scale a little bit into the picture so this won't happen. That's the only purpose of this scale slider. Then you got the visual help mode. This is uh, basically a little bit helpful if you wanna see where the focus is. So this makes visible the uh, how the picture is divided into certain steps layer 8 the background and then you can see all the different layers which make up the 3d effect and if you want to place the text step this is actually how you can see where it's going to be 8 is the background uh, like i said the text step 8 this is what you have drawn inside the mask then you have 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 then you can see if the text is going to uh, appear like at if it's at layer three this is so layer one two three so the text behaves the same as this part of the picture let's have a look so um, if we now run the animation um, the text seems to be at the same depth as uh, this part of the picture. So if you have the visual help mode, you can see where the different layers are and where to best put your text or plate or particles. Yeah, and if you're done with the animation, you go in here in the timeline, you see uh, this is your Two second animation you hit Control M this will open the render curve where you can make your settings maybe you want to you can decide for the um, frame rate you can decide what uh, container you want maybe QuickTime and what format maybe H264 and decide where it's going to be rendered to. Hit save and click on render. Yeah, that's basically it. I hope you liked the tutorial. Now you know how the simple photo animator works. I wish you lots of fun with it and have a great day. Bye bye, see ya.